Hey everybody, this is David and today I want to talk about uh, this recent Ghostbusters movie. I haven't seen the movie yet, but the movie, the reviews have come out and I think this is the most anticipated reviews that I've been waiting for all year. Uh, well, okay, not all year, but when the first trailers started to appear because people we're trash talking this movie like crazy. There's been a whole lot of drama surrounding this movie. And even, you know, I'm gonna admit it, I did not like the trailers. I thought, mm, meh, some were okay, I guess, maybe in some spots, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, they were really bad trailers. Let's just call it like it is. They were terrible trailers. That's that's what the big problem with these this movie is. And so I was expecting this movie to get really, really bad reviews, you know? And now reviews are out, and shock, it literally, it shocked me. Uh, it started off around 63, 64%, and now currently, right now, as I'm reading this, it's at 77%. And it's Tuesday today, the movie comes out on officially on Friday, and yeah, a lot of people, a lot of critics anyways are really enjoying it. I just listened to John Campia not too long ago. His review, I watched it I believe on Sunday and uh, a few others and yeah looks like some of them are saying hey guys this is, the movie's not as bad as you think it's going to be. It actually has some entertaining uh, qualities about the movie and it looks like a lot of fans don't want to believe it. Believe it or not, there are fans like disliking videos that are giving the movie a positive review. Or even, you know? And uh, this kind of disturbs me a little bit because it shows that people just want this movie to fail. And some people might have a reasonable excuse. I, I've read some comments uh, saying that the movie uh, they're they're mad at this movie and they wanted to fail because of the way Sony handled the whole situation because apparently on some of the trailers Sony's been deleting I don't know how much of this is true because I didn't pay attention to all of this but apparently Sony's been deleting some of the comments comments that are uh, constructive criticism towards the trailer while leaving the sexist comments on to make it look like people are attacking the sexist people are attacking the film only and uh if that is true okay that is wrong sony shouldn't be doing that i agree with that um but let's call it like it is there are some sexist people out there for this film now i don't think Sony should have used those people as a weapon against the people that are being constructive critically, you know? Because the movie's not perfect. Even John Campia, who gave the movie a positive score, uh, said that the movie does have its problems. John Schnepp, another person from Collider Movie Talk, also said the same thing. Um, as well as Grace Randolph. I don't watch her videos too much, but I did watch her review for this one. And uh, she said she enjoyed the movie. There, there were a couple of things she didn't like, but she thought it was good. And um, I think it's unfair that people are attacking the people, the, the reviewers, that the movie is good because they have an agenda against the movie, that they have issues with what Sony did. I don't think it's fair to blame the reviewers for that. They're just stating their opinion on what they thought of the movie, and they're giving reasonable explanations on why they enjoyed the film. They're saying it's not a perfect film, but it's enjoyable. So I think some people are taking this uh, a little bit too extreme. As well as, I want to also point this out, Campia apparently did a little bit of research, and this is not surprising to me. Apparently there are there is a group of people on Reddit that have been targeting videos of Ghostbuster reviews, the new one, and uh, giving dislikes, 
get telling people to give dislikes to certain videos uh, if they're giving positive review to the film. And uh, that's where Reddit becomes high school and children clearly control Reddit because if if it turns out that these people are like in their 30s and 40s, I'm 33 years old, I'm gonna be 33 years old. I'm 32 years old. If I was on Reddit, just, uh, I'm gonna give a dislike to this video because they had an opinion. I, I'd be so embarrassed, man. I, I couldn't, I hope those people are kids or teenagers that are just screwing around because that's what teenagers and, and kids do. Um, give the reviewer a break, okay? They're just stating their opinions. That's what it is. Don't be immature about it. Judge the movie. Why don't you go and watch the movie just like they did and form your own opinion? For an example, I went to go see Twilight when Twilight was a popular thing. Uh, I didn't see it in theaters, but I heard so many people talk so negatively about the, these movies, these Twilight films, that one day I said to myself, you know what, I, I should check out the first one at least, just to see what all the fuss is about, because how, how bad can these movies be if they're making tons of money, right? So I check out the first one because I wanted to have my own opinion on it. I wanted to be in part of the conversation, in to the in jokes that people make about it. I saw it and now I have an opinion on it. The Twilight movies, well at least the first one, is a piece of shit. Uh, this new Ghostbusters movie, the trailers look like shit. But I'm still going to give the movie a chance. I'm still gonna go in with my own opinion, a clear head, I don't care what the Sony X did, I just want to have an entertaining time at the movies. I don't want to, you know, skip a movie that might potentially be good for me now. Because according to 77% of the critics right now, just let me tell you what that means. 77%, 85 reviews in total. So not all the reviews are, are still up, but they're, they're coming in, man. They're coming in hot. And, um, I want, so there's a 77% chance that I might like it, and maybe the other percent I might not. But I want to go in and make my own opinion on it. I don't want to just make fun of the movie, because guess what? Despite the Sony executives or whatever, the marketing team, deleting posts off, you can't blame everybody that worked on the movie because of that. You can't. You're you're so Melissa McCarthy, uh, Leslie Jones. Uh, I forgot the other two actors' named Chris Hemsworth is in there too. You can't blame those actors and the crew. You know the crew and the director that worked on this movie. Paul Feig. You know a lot of people really enjoy his films, and maybe and from what I heard, you know a lot of his films have always had bad marketing. They don't know how to properly show, uh, show uh, how to market his films. And maybe that's, it seems like from my, my understanding, that's what one of the problems was with this movie. So if people don't go check it out because the marketing turned them off, then that's fine. But don't tell people that they're wrong for enjoying a movie. I think that's wrong also. I think that's just as bad as Sony deleting comments off their YouTube channel and making it look like only sexist people are turning it off. If I hate this movie, I'm gonna tell you guys the truth that I hate the movie. But if I like the movie, I'm gonna be honest and say, hey guys, I like this movie, you know? And hey, sometimes I've liked movies where people that didn't like it uh, you know, sh shit on it, you know, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. I enjoy that movie, I think it's a cool movie. And I know it hasn't gotten great reviews on IMDb. I think it has a, like a 5.1 out of 10 on IMDb. The, the critic score is even lower than that. It's like a 20, 30% on Rotten Tomatoes, I think. Maybe, I don't remember now, but anyways. 
so yeah, I know Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. I know the show isn't even that popular, but I still love it. I, I have a nostalgia for the show. I've grown up. I've enjoyed a lot of seasons that I've grown up watching. And um, I'm not saying Ghostbusters will be the same, but I'm saying I'm going to give it a chance. And I'm going to decide for myself. I hate when people follow other people's uh, words, what they say, and and don't go with their own set of mind, you know? And maybe I sound like a hypocrite because, David, but you're listening to the good reviews. What makes you any different? <sighs> because they made me feel more safer going in now. Now that I hear that, oh, wait, okay, a lot of people are liking this, that doesn't mean I'll agree with them. I could still come out saying, you know what, guys? Fuck the critics. These guys were wrong. This movie sucks ass. Uh, but, yeah, I don't care if... I don't care. I just want to go in and judge it for myself. And now that I'm hearing these good reviews, I'm saying, okay, maybe there's a chance that I'll like it. Maybe not. So, I just want to put that out there, guys. I think... I think more people should start thinking a little bit that way instead of just being all negative all the time, man. The internet is such a negative place. It's actually pretty sad sometimes. And we, we can't even be positive when someone else is positive because those people, certain people, not everybody, certain people don't want to give a certain movie a chance because, I don't know, they're pissed off for some reason. Let's put on a smiling face. Let's be more happy. Let's be more cool to one another. Let's stop being a bunch of douchebags, a bunch of immature kids, and let's start acting like mature movie fans that can listen to one another's opinion without putting them down. That's all I'm asking. Okay, guys, let's all be cool to one another. And uh, I'm going to end it here. And uh, I'm going to try to do a new review this weekend of Ghostbusters 2 before I go see the new one. That's what I wanted to do today, but this was an issue that's been really bugging me today that I really wanted to put out there because we, we have to stop acting childish. We have to start acting more mature. We have to start respecting one another than hating on one. I think there's enough hate going on in the world right now. And movies should be the last thing we should be hating on each other on. So, come on, let's work together, and uh, let's be true movie fans. If you want to, you know, debate the movie, if you've seen it, if you've seen it, then let's debate. But right now, I haven't seen it, you haven't seen it, most likely, uh, but some people have already seen it. Let's hear what they have to say, and then let's see the movie and compare our thoughts to theirs, and then we'll say if we liked it or not, okay? So, subscribe to my channel if you agree with me. Like this video if you agree with me. And even if you don't agree with me, like it anyways. And uh, check out me on Facebook, Twitter, and check out my iTunes podcast. Maybe I'll do a, a small podcast by myself uh, where I can talk about this. I'm trying to get a group of people to do a review of the original Ghostbusters. A spoiler, all-out spoiler review, but it's hard getting everybody together because some people haven't seen the movie yet. Uh, so... I'm trying to organize that, but it's not easy sometimes. So until that happens, uh, you can check out the other episodes on my podcast. I'm fixing the sound quality, so don't worry. And until next time, guys, take care.